All right, you guys ready? Let's do a billionaire stocks stock market analysis and forecast. Here we have Ford Motor Company, we've got General Electric, we've got American Airlines. I have no idea why you guys are so interested in General Electric, but it's one of the most popular stocks. Walt Disney, understandable. Uh, Delta Airlines, Apple, Microsoft, and Tesla. Tesla should be number one, really. But anyway, let's go into all of these guys. And this is a private, this is actually a private video for patreon.com slash billionaire stocks members. So if you want to get all of these videos, which you should, they come out every single day, or we might skip one or two days in a week, but they normally come out every single day. So get them all at patreon.com slash billionaire stocks. We tell you which direction the charts are going to go and whether it's been invalidated or whether it is confirmed. So uh, let's do this one at a time. Ford Motor. Ford, um, I wouldn't bet on this long term because of the fact that, well, I mean, they used to sell to China. China and America, not very friendly right now. So any country that any stock that is unfriendly with China, it's not going to do very well. But right now, we do have a temporary parabola developing. You see this temporary parabola? Um, it's trying to break past this red line. Draw this red line for yourself. And by the way, you, you might, you're going to want to take notes because you're going to learn a lot about technical analysis, at least all the basic stuff. So you can track your own stocks even before we put out, uh, put out a video for you at patreon.com slash billionaire stocks. Hey, how's that work? Okay. <clears throat> However, this uh, parabola could easily turn into a rising channel, which is bearish, in which case it's going to hit the bottom red line. So this is, what, this is what I would do. I would wait until we break past this red line to buy, if you're going to buy at all. Uh, but frankly, I mean, unless you know of some awesome new cars that Ford's going to come out, and even without China, it's going to drive the revenues up. Um, yeah, just look at the P.E. ratio chart. Anyway, uh, so... Can Ford survive just selling to America alone? Now, General Electric, I have no idea why anybody wants to buy this stock. It's not innovating, it's not doing anything, and which explains why for the last three years it's just been going from $30, $40 to $6. But look, it's not even attempting. You see this trend line here? You see this trend line? It's not even attempting to go over this red line. So this is a dump, dump, dump until we at least double tap this red line from the bottom. Got it? Okay, American Airlines. Uh, so Warren Buffett needs all the space to dump his uh, stocks and then everybody says, hey, Warren Buffett's an idiot. I'm smarter than Warren Buffett and bought right here. And as soon as you did, duh. But seriously, uh, Americans have, they don't actually really have the most coronavirus. I'm not kidding you. It's just the leftist ploy to make everyone think that American, that Trump is doing a bad job. Um, and he's actually not really doing that bad of a job. He's actually doing fantastic in a lot of areas. And yet, uh, American Airlines, because it says American, uh, will not be allowed to land in a ton of countries. So if you can't fly to a ton of countries, guess what happens to your stock? Doof. So that's why Warren Buffett said, hey, I'm willing to look like an idiot in the short term. And look, his short term's over. Now he's looking like a genius because he sold right in here and you bought right up here. Okay, um, what's the saving grace? Saving grace is that we should bump up one more time before dumping uh, into the depths of hell. It's $11. If you bought around $20, I mean, you're, you're hoping for about a $16, $17. Uh, so you might only lose about 15%. Right now, you lost about half your money. Youch! You lost 50% of your money. Youch! But yeah, it looks like we can get up to about $17. So you're only going to lose about 15% of your money. As long as you didn't buy the tippy tippy top. Okay, Walt Disney. With movie theaters closed and nobody wanting to go to movie theaters, but Walt Disney is innovative. They're doing a lot with their online content. So what's happening? This, triangle, it's indecided. It's, if this was a tarot card, this would be the undecided card. But I'm thinking that we're gonna break downwards because we have a rising channel. Uh, but this is undecided, it really is undecided because of the fact that we have a triangle. Whether, whether it breaks down to the bottom side or the top side is if it breaks up, buy. If it breaks down, sell. It's that simple. It's hard to know right now. So big question mark. Most likely the downside just because we have a rising channel. What is a rising channel? Uh, you'll, you'll see later. I'm not going to go into that right now. <clears throat> Delta Airlines. Delta Airlines is a little bit better than American Airlines because it's got more... Um, well, it just says 
more European routes, doesn't it? It doesn't say American routes, uh, more European routes. Uh, this guy should at least try to go up to about $33, $34. So, wow, that's not bad. From $25 to $33, that's, that's pretty decent. Mm, that's about what? Yeah, 20-30% gain. You can get about 20-30% gain. If you sold up here, I would dump the hell out of this thing if it comes out to this arrow. And obviously, I'm going to give you uh, constant updates on this. Apple. Apple looks like it really wants to touch this line, especially because Apple used to sell a shit ton to China, and yet Apple's moving all their manufacturing to India, which doesn't uh, bode well with China relations, and China's innovating on their own, and Huawei's uh, fighting against all American corporations. So, and this looks like it's developing a head and shoulders in here. What is a head and shoulders? Look it up. Head and shoulders patterns mean we're gonna drop down to here and retest this peak. Uh, so this is fairly likely. I'd give this a 60% shot of this happening. Microsoft, oh, Microsoft, Microsoft, Microsoft. We've got another rising channel here. It's a perfect rising channel with a um, uh, parabolic uh, bull trap right in here. This is a blow off top. So I'm expecting this to come even deeper than the last high before the coronavirus dump. This is the coronavirus dump, by the way. But not quite yet. It looks like we should have one more bounce. So that's why my arrow, the tip, uh, the tail of the arrow is a little bit higher than current price. Maybe $208, it should bounce up a little bit before dumping down to 172. And finally, Tesla. We told everyone to buy Tesla at $100. Guess what it is right now? Yep, if you had subscribed to this channel, you would have bought Tesla at $100, at $100, at $100. What is it right now, 1600? Uh, it looks like we're gonna go up. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? We're still gonna go up? At some point, we're gonna have to touch this level, $1,000, but it may not be for another couple of years or decades, who knows? Now remember, you may think this is ridiculous for Tesla to go from here to here, but uh, Dell stock uh, went up, what, 20 times higher than this Delta? Dell, you know, Dell computer, Michael Dell. So there's no end to the mass market stupidity. But in reality, this might not be so stupid uh, considering if you consider not the actual bottom line revenues, but you consider all the data Tesla has. Uh, data, they can map, 3D map everything in this entire planet. Think about that. It's the only company that has more uh, photos and telemetry of the entire universe than even Google Maps. <clears throat> Tesla does. So think about that and the, the data, literally traffic data. If all of a sudden Tesla says, oh, by the way, we've um, just networked all the cars together. So now there's not going to be any bumper to bumper traffic. It's, every car is going to be like a train where the first car moves and the last car moves at the same time. Instead of this guy is sitting at a red light and he goes forward and then the next guy has a, what, two second latency before he steps on the gas and the guy behind him has a two second latency before he steps on the gas. And so there's this, there's this really weird slinky roly poly effect. But with Tesla, who knows if they come up with a thing that uh, unifies every single car. I think they could do that. I think they can make some kind of technology where Ford has to accept it, Audi has to accept it, Toyota, Hyundai has to accept it. And Tesla is the guy that started this entire uh, thing that says, hey, let's connect all cars together so that we can all drive without ever hitting a stoplight. Yeah. That would create a price tag of about $8,000. So, I don't know, five, 600% more than this. But at least for now, uh, this black line is the target. Okay. Did you take notes? We went fast. We're gonna go do another eight. Uh, and you can get all of these and you can get invalidations and you'll get uh, updates and Surprise picks. There's always some chart in here that says holy shit. This thing's gonna double isn't it? Holy shit. This thing's gonna go ten times its current value, isn't it? Uh, if it does, we're gonna tell our, all our members first at patreon.com slash billionaire stocks. Join us at patreon.com slash billionaire stocks. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do.